Okay guys, because last time there were so many questions when I posted the before and after pictures from the cleaning from the Technics turntable SL1200 Mark II, I decided to record it a little bit this time and tell you how easy it is and just using um, household uh, things which everybody usually has. So we're starting to uh, take off the the stickers just with some warm water and a small sponge and delicately make it wet and soak it so it will be easy to come off nothing nothing in the water only pure water It's coming off really nice actually I was a little bit afraid to get those stickers off I thought there would be some uh, glue residue we will see how it will be oh, I'm so good with rhyming <laughs> oh sorry sorry for boring you with that. Mm, my brain farts Also sorry for the shaking of the camera, I'm just using my mobile phone because I don't have a professional expensive camera like some people do. I'm just a simple guy. Alright, that went great. Ah, there is some glue residue. Let's see how, maybe some warmer water and just a drop of washing up liquid will probably do that also the other record player which had some nicotine traces on it and some grease from putting the hand always uh, here while queuing and pitching it came off really good with some uh, low warm water and uh, a drop of uh, washing up liquid that went really good oh, this one also peels off really nice blissful <laughs> I wonder what that label was from or what it stands for still yeah I need some more water to soak it there are probably better ways to do this but I'm just using what I have in the house It's also not easy to work with just one hand <laughs> because I'm holding my phone with the other one. Okay, now we're gonna prepare a little bit of warm water with some washing up liquid. And I'll be back soon with you. Okay, guys, I'm back. As you can see, the stickers are all gone. Worked out pretty well. Um, the spots you can see is the shade from the mat under it. Yeah, good, good, good. That's all gone. Now we go to the next step. Is we take a toothpick for the little edges and corners. If my phone wants to focus, and we very delicately take out all the gunk and the grease and the shit later we will use this uh, we will uh, suck it up very delicately with a vacuum cleaner 
with the brushy thing on it. Mm, takes a while, but it, you see, it will work. And all the little edges and grooves and corners, take out the gunk and the crap. Great. And so on and so further. We just want to do this everywhere. Of course, avoid spilling dirt in the pitch fader. Also, it's uh, advisable to put a slip mat on it so no dust goes in the engine compartment. All right, I will not. Uh, film this all because it's not easy to work like this but I will show you the result afterwards when I'm finished with my toothpick and my brushes yeah <laughs> okay see you later cheers so the dry cleaning part is done already looking much better than I did before much better. I've seen worse tables than this. Now, um, when you clean the tone arm, you want to put it way up and watch out. Very good what you do. You don't want to destroy it. If you have to replace a tone arm, it will cost you. So yeah, it's obviously it's still dirty, but um, we're after the dry cleaning part. And we will start with the wet cleaning part now. Or maybe I will first clean the platter. Yeah, that also needs some. Okay, maybe I will first clean the platter and the inside of the uh, engine part. You want to be very precautious there. Don't put dirt into the engine part. Keep it all very clean, as spotless as possible. And obviously don't damage the engine part, the magnet or the rotor or anything. Alright. So yeah, there's a lot of grease on it. I will make up. I will make up a little mixture from some warm water and a drop of washing up liquid. And the table, the table I'm gonna clean with a mixture from uh, Windex and uh, IPA alcohol and a toothbrush. Obviously, when it's off, not when it's on, because you. Yeah, you will damage all the other stuff with the alcohol. Okay, talk to you back soon. So I did uh, a little part already from the platter. It, uh, my magic mixture from Windex and uh, IPA alcohol. I rubbed a little while with a toothbrush and now I'm planning to take... Uh, that doesn't work really well. Mm, take it off. Just to show you how much dirt comes off ah. and gunk. So this is only the first cleaning. I do this a couple times around, and then later uh, go with a dry cloth over it for a nice effect and the shiny uh, dots. Okay, this is the first, the first little cleaning. Already looks much better. And the dirt, there's a lot of dirt, which comes off, as you can see. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this. It's uh, pretty hard to film this while I'm doing it, so I will not. <laughs> see you later. Cheers. All right, so I uh, finished with the platter. And the result is uh, quite satisfying. Much better than it was before. I don't know if I can close up. Let's see. Uh, I 
good 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 now I'm gonna go to the next step the wet cleaning wet ish of the deck itself with like I said a couple times before some warm water and just a drop of washing up liquids like liquid only one okay all right back again here we go some nice and warm water oh it looks like I put a little bit too much washing up liquid anyway very delicately start making it wet and drying it with a paper towel rubbing it so the dirt comes off that's the idea I'm afraid and not dirt. Let's try with some more water. I mean, just a little bit. scratch is a shame anyway I'm gonna continue doing this very cautious and I'll come back to you when I'm finished Et voila, this is how it can look after some proper cleaning. Not bad at all, not bad at all, it's a keeper. Some minor scratches, here some and there some, but for the rest, awesome. Pretty darn looking good. And while you're at it, you also made clean the contact points from the head shell here inside with some alcohol all right I'm gonna do that now EPA IPA after cleaning the contacts for the head shell with a q-tip and uh, IPA alcohol you should also take off the feet while you're at it because they're also dirty I'm gonna wash them um, well I will not put them in the water because it will damage the fill or felt, right? Felt, not filled. <laughs> so I'm gonna do this also with the same water and my trusty sponge. Chill. And now it is time for the dirty and scratchy dust cover. First we're gonna clean it with some warm water and washing up liquid. How surprising. And after that we will use plastics to polish it. I, uh, in the meantime I bought a uh, boink. I bought the spongy thing to put on an um, electric drill, so the polishing will be better than last time and also, uh, yeah, faster, <laughs> I'd say. Okay, so let the cleaning start. Oh, yeah, of course it will be shaky because I can't hold it. All right, I'm gonna turn off the camera again. I'm gonna properly clean it with the soft side of the sponge, obviously, not the scratchy side. Uh, yeah, the videos may look a bit bumpy and jumping from one topic into the other, but it is what it is. Uh, it's only educational. If somebody wants to clean his record player, here you go, here you go. With all the things you have in the house, well, I have IPA in house, I don't know if you have it, but if you don't, then you can buy it on eBay or uh, 
some shops. All right, cleaning it is. After using the proper amount of elbow grease, this is how it looks like. It's cleaner, but still a lot of scratches, of course. This is the dirt which came off. Wow, must never have been cleaned before in its life. Well, now we're gonna start with the plastics, the magic product. So, remember the before, and I will show you how it looks afterwards. Checking out. And this is how it looks like afterwards. Yeah, after some good polishing. Of course, not all scratches are out, but it's much better, I'd say. Lovely table. Oh, yes, I have no pants on. <laughs> well, I have shorts off, obviously. Voila. Nice. I'm happy with the result. Very.